If you had a nickel for every great one-liner, deal with it. What's next? Or personal sting that comes flying out of her mouth? Keep going. Move on. Well, then you might be as rich as Judge Judy. It's not happening. What's next? Earning a reported $45 million a year, she's been the reigning queen of reality TV for 17 seasons. Not bad for a woman who spent part of her life as a stay-at-home mom. But almost everything about Judith Scheinlin is a contradiction. Just barely over five feet tall, her personality is big enough to entertain an entire courtroom. He can't sue the sun. <laughs> you have to wait when the sun is not in your eyes before you're making a turn. Under that black robe with signature lace collar, we spotted blue jeans. But perhaps the biggest contradiction of all is where this sharp-tongued Brooklynite actually hears her cases. Her show is made to look and feel like you're in the heart of New York City, but the truth is it's actually filmed here in Hollywood. <laughs> Hollywood came a-calling in the mid-90s after several articles and interviews about her tough love style ruling from the bench in Manhattan Family Court. It didn't surprise me at all. You know, she, she had that it factor then. You know, and so, uh, you know, some folks were pretty smart to decide to put her on TV. Bailiff Bird worked in her New York courtroom. We understand each other. And so when she asked me to, you know, what I consider coming on the show, I was like, oh, yeah. That's how Bailiff Bird got there. But what about all those plaintiffs and defendants who willingly agree to walk into the lion's den? We have approximately 60, 65 researchers across the country that go into courts and uh, because of the Freedom Information Act, we can Xerox those cases and they're sent back to the producers. From there, the producers call the people involved and decide which cases sound like good TV. Probably the return on the cases that they actually can use uh, of everything coming in is only about 3%. The key, says the show's executive producer, is finding people with a prior relationship. Boyfriend, girlfriend, uh, mother, daughter, father, son, brother, brother, sister, sister. That way it pulls in the audience a little bit more. There's a little bit more of an emotional tie that's been broken. And you end up with a bit of a mini soap opera. The cast and crew will shoot an entire week's worth of episodes in just one day. Between cases, Judge Judy often retires to her dressing room and plays a game of gin to keep her mind sharp. Shooting takes place three days a week, every other week. Am I missing something? Her rulings? Well, yes, they actually are final. It's your fault. You hit him. You have to pay for that. That's all. The counterclaims dismissed. Participants sign a waiver agreeing to accept her decision and not to pursue the case anywhere else. They're also paid a flat fee for appearing on her show. And who gets chosen to sit in that audience? Well, the seats are filled using an audience service, something very common in Los Angeles. Most of them are aspiring actors. He's not your roommate. He's the father of your two children, and you were starting a business together. Whether it worked or didn't work, good bye. Thank you. If she weren't a judge, she'd make a great stand-up comedian because her timing is just impeccable. Great timing and incredibly animated, but what people love most about Judge Judy is her authenticity. She brings an honesty that people are looking for. I don't really think I'm harsh. I think I'm direct, and I think I just call it as I see it.